Van Nuys, California, the toilet of Los Angeles, where meters aren't as costly, parking isn't a problem because nobody drives through it, and the Mexican population is at an all-time high. Most restaurants have a proud, successful opening, and after five years, they turn a profit. But for some restaurants, like Los Tomilos, profit seems to be a thing of dreams. For the founder of Los Tomilos, it has not been an easy road. I'm Tom. I am the founder of Los Tomilos Mexican Grill here in Van Nuys. So the restaurant opened up a couple years ago. I've been struggling really hard because I'm the only one that is doing anything. With funds running low, advertising must be done at an affordable cost. The great thing about being a CEO and founder of your own company is that you don't necessarily have to hire people. I was out putting up flyers for Los Tomalos all over town and I really think that this is gonna be a good thing for me. I think that I'm gonna start having customers come in really soon or at least calling and booking appointments. With tension high, Tom must do whatever he can just to stay afloat. I'm gonna put them up in on posts at intersections. I'm gonna put them on people's fences. I may even put them on a few cars. Yeah. It's tough when you go out there and you're in the heat all day, every day, no air conditioning. I really feel like I know how those Mexican vendors feel when they're trying to sell just their food. I am one of them. I am a hard-working Mexican man now. On top of being the boss, I'm the cook, I do the deliveries, I do the marketing, I'm in charge of promotions, really trying to bring in business to the restaurant. I am also the booking agent, which means I'm on the phone and I am calling everyone, parties, quinceaneras, I am just trying to get catering gigs in the Mexican community. Hola! Is this senior? While there certainly is no shortage of Mexican restaurants in Van Nuys, Los Tomilos promises to be different with their signature quesadillas. I am using Guiro's flour tortillas for my quesadillas. But what is so special about a quesadilla? I also like to use this, La Victoria Suprema Salsa. Okay, I like to use that because it also kind of gives a little bit of a kick, but I never really actually put it on the outside of the quesadilla. I actually like cooking it on the inside, so it's already in there so you don't have to do the dipping. And with that, I use mozzarella cheese. I can do barbecue chicken quesadillas, I can do beef quesadillas, pork. I've even kind of invented a few quesadillas. While most people would think that it's creepy running a restaurant out of your own apartment, Los Tomilos has a different view. They can just come right in and sit down and have a conversation with me, my roommates, while I cook them a quesadilla of their choice, of course. After advertising, Tom catches wind of a great opportunity. I've even gotten wind of a few parties that might be happening, and it's my goal this week to book one of those parties. Hola. Hola! Hola. Hola. Is this senior... What do you mean you haven't heard of it? I've, I've been putting my, my flyers all around your neighborhood. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Is he hung up? Uh, so I'm about to make another attempt at a phone call to try and book another party. Um, it hasn't been going as well for me this week, but I have complete confidence that I'm going to be able to book something soon. Hold on. I'm sorry ma'am, I, I can't understand your, your dialect of Mexican. Can you try and speak a little bit more American, then maybe I can understand you a bit better. With tensions high, Los Tomilos needs its first customer more than ever. Look, I gotta get more business coming into this restaurant. It is imperative that I do that. I'm on my last few tortillas, I'm running out of chicken, 
my seasoning's drying up, if I don't get more supplies soon, my business is gonna fail. Finally, some good news for Los Tamilos. Tom hears that the Ramirez family is holding a quinceanera in a few days. There's a Ramirez family that lives around here who is going to be throwing a quinceanera. I'm gonna call Mr. Ramirez and I'm going to offer my services and book that first client. Hola, is this Senor Ramirez? Okay, maybe I have the wrong number. Because uh, I'm looking for a Senior Gregory Ramirez. Ramirez? Okay, well that's, that's not how it's spelled here. So I called Mr. Ramirez. Conversation was a little bit rocky. He's got a dialect that I'm not exactly familiar with. And I don't think he really appreciated that I was trying to correct him on his name. But... We were still getting to the point. I understand that you have a quinquanera happening uh, here in the next week, and I'd like to cater your quinquanera. Quinquanera. Quinquanera, the, the 15th birthday party thing. Don't you speak Mexican? And I wanted to offer my services to cater, because I feel like my quasadillas would be better than this fake Mexican food that they're going to try and serve people at the quinquanera. Hello? Apparently, Mr. Rimerez is a little, uh, busy. After some seemingly offensive banter, Tom and Mr. Ramirez don't connect. Things didn't go so well, and I don't think I'm going to be hearing from him. Finally, the phone rings. As if the call came from the heavens, Ms. Gomez, a distressed mother of 15, looked to Los Tomilos to cater a birthday party. I'm so desperate at this point, I'll take anybody just to get a client. With luck, Ms. Gomez is not offended by Tom's extremely uneducated Spanish. Again, we're kind of getting off to a rocky start because of the mix in dialects, but I kind of have faith that this could work out. With some luck, Ms. Gomez pulls through, saving Los Tomilos. You know what? I'm probably not going to make a lot of money on this arrangement, but I'm getting to help a family out, and in return, in two years, Los Tomilos has its first official customer. <laughs>